Hey, what's up guys? My name is Irvin, also known as Kobuman. Let's keep it moving. If you watched my previous videos, you know that I've been on a roll with these help desk uh, tutorials. We're going to keep it moving with third party software. You have to be allowed to install third party software, meaning the biggest issue here is obviously having a license. You got to have a license to install third party software. The second thing is whether it's allowed by the policy in relation to the company on how they deal with security when it comes to type of software, because some software may be a risk to the company and we don't want to install that and you don't want to lose your job. So it's incredibly important that you uh, are very careful, especially as help desk but what you take from this video is that you got to be careful when it comes to somebody requesting software. There is a procedure for that and that, that procedure has to be followed. As simple as that. So let's have a look at how that goes. I need to have Oracle DB, Oracle database installed. on my computer i'm going to assign it to myself and we're going to work it we're going to keep it going guys we're just going to keep it going all right it says i need to have oracle db installed on my computer and same thing repeated in the description and it's this guy named mike moser all right mike so you got to be careful with this because when it comes to installing third-party software, and this guy is, in this case, Oracle Database is a third-party software, no matter how you look at it, we have to make sure that it's okay for you to install this for them. So what we're actually going to do, and preferably you'd want to talk to the customer over the phone. This is how I prefer it. You can do it any way you like. You can send an email a reply to them you can send them an instant message and see uh, see if you can get more information but what would you guys do how would you guys handle this you got to be very very careful because we can't we can't just install oracle database on their computer without permission so here's here are a couple of different things that could be happening here mike here Mike Moser, he may already have a license to install Oracle DB. And he already maybe has requested it over, requested it through proper channels. And maybe he just doesn't know how to install it. And he already has all of this, all of these permissions. So we're going to ask him this. We're going to start with this. Hello. You guessed it. My name is Irvin. You're going to be doing this a lot, except you're going to be using your own name, of course. <laughs> With PC support, I have your ticket about installing Oracle DB. Do you have or let's just do this there are many ways of doing this did you request a license for this software software or and you know we can send this or depends how how it is on your in your business in your setup in your business you can also say before I install this software I have to check to see if it's on approved software list so if you send a message to him like this it kind of gives it almost like open-ended in the sense that customer may reply to you and say hey i already have it i already have it i just need it installed meaning that i already have it approved of course you have to check that real quick and then sometimes you may have to install it manually but also he mike might actually already have it installed might might, might even have it installed already on his computer in which case he may need help with configuration which is not necessarily something that you as help desk 
uh, tier one would be able to do but if you're doing desktop support or tier two help desk you should be able to configure software in this case oracle database uh, you may need like things like uh, database driver installed or something like that and i'll show you that as soon as i uh, i'll show you that briefly as soon as i you know kind of talk about this part of it but when it comes to help desk tier one you have to make sure number one that it's approved and number two that you install it for them in whatever that might be you may have a program that handles pushing of the software to the computers and you may help them you may need to help them subscribe their computer to this piece of software subscribe meaning that basically um, you tell the system that his computer name and remember we use Kobuman one as a computer name a lot that it has that computer Kobuman one subscribe to Oracle DB so what in, in, in that case it should automatically install itself but it also what he might mean is actually configuration so I have to check that but if when it comes to just simple installation you should be able to handle this as help desk tier one now let me just show you briefly what I mean by setting up Oracle database I'm just gonna it's, it's a little bit slightly off topic but I do want to show you if when it comes to configuration this is done through administrative tools here on the computer itself and it's done here under one of these so let's say you're installing or configuring Oracle database driver it would be somewhere in here and what happens is is that you would have uh, the Oracle driver in here you know for example in here you would have a Oracle driver that's already in there and then you configure it whatever the system that you want so you would just click add and then you would select which one you want to use and then you go in through the configuration set up the ports IP addresses uh, server names or whatever it needs to be so if you're not comfortable with that that's fine you don't necessarily have to be the guy that does it it just depends on the level and the requirements for the company again this is possibly help desk tier 2 definitely desktop support uh, person would actually deal with this okay I'm gonna go back to that system all right but in this case we're gonna assume that he just wanted it installed so we went ahead and installed it I'm gonna add internal node install well let's do this let's do this subscribed PC to Oracle DB means that we told the internal system to go ahead and push and the internal system or internal setup has approved it for it to be installed and then I'm going to do this installed software as requested okay and now we're going to close the ticket as complete all right easy peasy and there you have it guys just make sure you follow these basic rules when it comes to dealing with this and it's not going to be a problem for you in the future thank you guys so much for watching please don't forget to like share and leave comments i'm sorry if i missed any of your comments during the premiere and uh yeah i'm not trying to ignore anybody at any point but if i if just in case if i do i apologize you can always leave a comment below and i'll gladly answer any of your questions or if you just want to say hi all right guys i'll see you next time have a wonderful day bye bye